Well, the 1973 Grand Final is just one of those great games. It's, it's, it's gone down in history. Here it through, and Corns has put that goal. Here it goes, and it's another goal. So that is it. There it is, the year of the Tiger, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Howard of Glenelg, 21 goals, 11, 21-11, 137. The biggest moments for me at this footy club were winning the premierships. Uh, fantastic. And also another big uh, moment was my 400th game when I had the opportunity to run through the banner with uh, two of my sons, which was a very special moment as well. I came through the year of 85, 86 um, watching the boys then. They were just an amazing team and I played my first game in 87 and um, you just wanted to win. It was a, a real culture within the club. It was an amazing time for me. Playing with Peter Carey, especially on his big uh, occasions of record-breaking games in front of 14,000 at Glenelg Oval in probably about my second or third game is, is probably the highlight. The lion-hearted Ruckman has been the Tigers' heartbeat now for the best part of two decades. A lot of good players play 200, 250, maybe close to 300, but there's only been two that have played 400 club games for the one club in Australia. One is Kevin Bartlett, Richmond and the second is Peter Carey for Glenelg. It means an enormous amount to me, you know, not only from a footy perspective but from a life perspective. It, you shouldn't say it because life is more than a sporting club, but the Glenelg Footy Club has been my life. Uh, it's given me opportunities that I could never ever have dreamed. I've got a wife and kids and, and they're important, but at the same time the Glenelg Footy Club is and always will be in my life. It's been a, a major part of my life. You know, I love the club. Uh, I've had a fantastic time at the club. The club's done a lot for me over the years. Minor Premier North Adelaide Crunch Cadell in the 1985 Grand Final. A packed house, 50,000 people plus. The game running very late. Certainly very tough times and uh, you know it is really tight but we need to make sure that we get over that hump and I really believe we, we can with the support of everyone. The club is in financial trouble at the moment. It is a great club, we've got great supporters uh, and this is the time that I think the club has to really come together. For the community and the state and perhaps the country to lose the Glenelg Footy Club would be a tragedy. There's no, there's no doubt about it because it's such a it has such an influence on the community. I mean, we're, we're, we're besotted by the AFL in this day and age, so we fail to see exactly what sort of work the local footy clubs do in their communities. There's so much tradition steeped in this club that, you know, it can't be allowed to die. This presence that it has in the community, this organisation, I mean, can you imagine driving past, can you imagine driving down Brighton Road, driving past the Glenelg Oval and there's no Glenelg Footy Club. Now, just watching Neil Curley, he was in tears. Now, if anyone knows Neil Curley, he absolutely was in tears when he was grabbed by the players right on the boundary line. Well, the legacy of this club is, is huge and, you know, it is our job to make sure that legacy continues. It's the community's club. It's not my club or players who are playing, it's not there, it's the community's club and we should never forget that. Glenelg Footy Club is a very proud club, been in existence since 1921. It's going through some troubled times now uh, and I think everyone's got a rally around the club, showing some great form on the footy field. Financially we're struggling a bit so if we can all get behind this club, support the club, become a member, get to games and this club will uh, prosper in the future.